and welcome back to Darkwood Alpha 8.1, as you can see here. Um, it looks like they pushed out 8.1 before I was able to do uh, an Alpha 8 playthrough, but I figured there were enough, there seemed to be enough bug fixes that could possibly ruin my experience that I figured I'd go ahead and just roll into Alpha 8.1, so I will have to I don't know what I'm going to do about the title of the videos because they're all Alpha 8 and I'll have to say something like Alpha 8 slash 8.1 or they'll break into 8.1 um, I'm not sure yet I might just I think the best idea is probably to just move on and name all these 8.1 as we roll through uh, because there is a very piece of sad news so you see here that the day count got reset on our profile, or the profile that I was playing through Alpha 8, and that's because for some reason it seems to pick up on the Alpha 8 save as a... so like, see this message of you'll start at the beginning of chapter 2 with the default set of items and choices if you load this profile, it'll skip some content from the end of chapter 1 though. That's the same thing it shows like on a 7-1 save, which just pushes you to uh, Alpha Chapter 2, even though this is a save from Chapter 2, and so what seems to be happening is that it thinks it's, since it's an older save, that it needs to reset it, and so what happened was, curious about this message, I hit play, and it overwrote all of my progress, um, which makes me very, very sad, so very sad, and I didn't have time yet to set up my, uh, move the draw, the save link the save directory to Dropbox, so I don't have a version that I could roll back to anyway. So, seeing as I... the good news is, since I want to play through 8.1 anyway to avoid any problems, the only way to do that right now is to obliterate our progress anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the default sets of choices, so we'll at least get some idea of what that is. I don't know what we'll see in terms of, um... Choices though, like, is the default to do the wolf quest or the musician quest? And what about Piotrek, who we spent so much time trying to help? I don't really know. Um, but I think at this point I would rather show chapter two, uh, and yeah, instead of maybe taking, you know, a few nights to just run through chapter one and get approximately to where I was, because it's never going to be quite the same anyway. Uh, so I did fire this up earlier um, to, to test stuff. Um, so I, I'm just going to start here, because I think at this point I would rather see Chapter 2, because it does look really interesting. It seems to like this orientation, though. The past couple of times it's always been in this orientation. But anyway, we know, we, we've seen everything at least, so we know we're not missing the content we might have been missing otherwise. So there's that constellation at least. But anyway, that's all in the past. I would really rather see chapter 2, so let's start by examining this thing. It was used to fill tanks with oxygen. I could probably fix it. Broken compressor. What is that? I wish I could tell what that was. The sounds in this place are also really weird. Alright, so here's my generator. Rusty oxygen tanks. Okay. It's one of these creepy eyeball things again. Which... Okay. They seem to react only if you look at them. The sounds they make are super weird. That's not a wardrobe. That was a wardrobe. Video. It's covered in a thick layer of dust. It looks like no one has used it for a long time. But it smells of hot electronics. Weird. Okay, yeah, and this is the other thing. So it's, it's going to start us with two tiers worth. So I'm just going to get basically what I got before. And judging by the oven efficiency, it will take us no time to max out tier three. Although, you know, I think we had, we had that one. Which so far has seemed pretty good overall. Yeah, so it took us all the way over here. As you can see, no fever dreams of any kind. Uh, where is a workbench? They make a little electronics noises. So I wonder if they're connected with the hot electronics 
you know, comment in any way. There's some, these are explosive barrels that's filled with flammable substance that explodes in contact with fire. And that thing is back. I don't want to mess with it. Really don't want to mess with it. Uh, here's another cool thing. That thing's, if we look at that thing, this opens up, which is a light or something. And this gray red, so it's like, I can't tell if that's because it's emitting the red light, or because it's letting out some kind of gas? I don't really know yet. We'll, uh, we'll have to explore to figure it out. Or not. We'll see. Some more explosive barrels. What's in here? Aha! Workshop! Great. What do we want to do? I have a pistol, but no ammo for it. Oh man, we're so underpowered relative to where we were. It makes me so sad. So very, very sad. At least we have a watch, though. That, we, there's that to cons the consolation, at least. There is a lot more rope than I can use right now. Flashlight will probably need. No use in carrying that around. Um, that's a lot of gas, though. Speaking of gas, how's the generator doing in terms of gas? Should we fill it, be filling it up? Eh, it has enough for tonight, but yeah, let's fill it up. Because this looks like a hideout, for sure. I think the gas is even already on for us, which is convenient. I'm going to empty out one of them. And then we'll use the second one as spare. There we go. Alright. Then there's this thing, which has some crate with a weird black substance around it. I won't be able to open it unless I get rid of the substance, so who knows what that is. Also, really, pitchfork. All right. Oh, nope. That that did work. Is it? Is this a bad idea? Oh, nope. so that stuff hates light. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. It's black and creepy. Dwells in the darkness. That thing, I hope that's not the weird spider thing. I don't know that I want to find out what that is, or how it fights. I think there are some things I'm better off, just better off not knowing. That is also not a wardrobe. It wasn't even at once a wardrobe, or was it? I don't actually know what that is. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, we need to figure out what we're going to do for the night, because who knows what kind of wonderful creatures populate this place. Oh, the pincers! So they are here that we need them. Location found village. Okay. And more stuff. Oh, note! We've got the target. He should sleep until we return. 1.20 p.m. The compressor is not working. We are slowly running out of oxygen. I've sent two men to search the nearby junkyard. Maybe we won't have to go back for new equipment. Watch out for the cottage near the junkyard. It might be occupied. Stay clear of the village. They will be looking for the missing person. Planned return, 5 p.m. This map is outdated. It must have been made at least two years ago. The forest has changed considerably since then. It's barely readable, but I think I can make out the position of a cottage near a junkyard and mark it on my map. Okay, well... I don't know what's going on here, but he seems too comfortable with it. Yeah, I really wish I knew what that was about. Or if it's even good or bad, like do I want it to do that, or do I want it to be the other, the other way around? Uh, I definitely want to... Oh, can I do that? I can! Wonderful! So at least we started already over here. Oh, that's where the double barrel shotgun comes in. I see. So there is one more upgrade, which takes another pair of pincers and a whole lot more wood and stuff. 
Except now we're out of wood, which is not ideal. We can make our own exploding barrels, though, so that's interesting. Nothing in that wardrobe. I mean... This almost looks like a place you could hole up in. I think there's also, there's a well out here too, which we ignored in the first place. I don't really know what we could really do, other than maybe try to barricade ourselves in here. Like we can block that off, because at least while it's on, you can't, well, yeah. If we block that off with that, then it can't see us, hopefully. And then we're kind of, well, I don't know if there's something that can come in through that. There probably will be. Uh, I just don't know what we should do. Ah, <sighs> we think our goal is probably to fix that oxygen compressor. I don't think we can hole up in here. So the only realistic options are here, or, you know, this place near the oven. And I don't, I don't know, I don't know which one actually makes more sense or not. I mean, this one looks like it would be not too hard to get relatively secure. Then so does this one. Assuming that there aren't very many things that can actually, you know, cut through that. Which maybe we'll just block off with a chair? I'm not sure. I don't know. We need to find more wood though. That much is true. So maybe it's not, I don't know. I want to at least drag this over there, because I don't think... I don't know what we could do without it, basically. <laughs> like, without that, I think we're screwed. So... We're, like, definitely screwed. As opposed to just maybe screwed. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. So we've got this doorway here that we can barricade, and yeah, we just need... Oh god. Are you friendly? Is that a human spider? Oh my god. Oh god. Ow. Well, you don't hit that hard, so there's that at least. What? Ah! What? It's a human spider. Are you leaving? I'm gonna go use those immediately. The noise they make is not actually that terrifying. It's just weird. It's a lot of essence. Yeah, like I said, we'll probably make it pretty quickly through this. Also, did that second spider just appear? Did it grow out of its limb? It seemed to me like it grew out of the limb. And the only thing... Uh, cottage near the junkyard. But we have the village and we are looking for wood. So this looks like a decent place to try first. But is okay. Semi open door. Bodes well. Uh huh. I don't really trust the swamp water, frankly. What?
and tires out from that. Something spooked them, huh? Figure bears the signs of teeth. It's partially eaten. Where? Well, sure. Well, I hear a huge dog. Or something that makes the same sound as a huge dog. Which may or may not be a huge dog. It's also getting late, and I have no wood. So, this should be a good first night. This should all be excellent. Speaking of which, is the bike man a thing here? I did forget to bring along the uh, thing anyway, the the um, the bell, so I don't even know how we would, you know, what would happen if we tried to call him over here. Oh, what? Oh, okay. That was also a frightening sound. And, yeah, alright, well, I'm gonna do, deal with what I got. What I got is that this room. Which ain't much. Not at all. I think we're gonna die. Just totally die. I mean, we've also gotta hang out in here. Hope that acts as some sort of useful barrier. I don't know if we want that light at night. I'm guessing we don't. So I'm glad it's closed? Uh, this looks like it's probably one of the better spaces. Alright. Let's see how screwed we are. Shouldn't have upgraded the workshop. I mean, the good news at least, though, is that if we die, we've just sort of made the night shorter. Although, all... Man, I'm just remembering all the rep that we saved up with the three... We would have leveled up so much. We would have just instantly gone to the, the max level, basically. Not instantly, because there's a limit on how many we can extract from them every night, but pretty quickly, I think. Hello. Uh, it should be hard to see us from there. So that's good. I think it's safe to bet that that's one of the spider things. Do I have any items that might be useful to me? Well, that's more useful than that. Let's do that. That's probably the most useful combination. This I do not like, because that sounds like more of them. There's a banshee though. Hope there are no banshees out here. I really do. Oh, and the dread. Mm. At least I can tell by the footsteps so that they're all still outside. Like they're not going inside there either. I'd be curious to try an experiment with the, um, the eye. No. No. Please don't move that very much. the worst 
first sound. I really hope they're just like running into that corner blindly. That's my that's my ideal. They're stupid and just running into the walls. This is I think I'm probably being very lucky right now. At least the time stop will give us time to figure this place out. I don't like that sound. Sounds like one of them walking indoors. But only occasionally. Come on. We're almost there. I'm guessing these things are very bad against fire, which is why there's so many explosives nearby. Come on. If you want to take a peek, right before. Yep, it's them. See you later, suckers! I do like that they were, in fact, stuck there, though. Day two. Day two, my ass. It is not day two. Oh, hey, this sort of got stuck here. Oh. Why do they get stuck there? Just this weird edge thing, I guess? Well, anyway. Where are the three? Down here, near the workshop? I wonder. Either way, let's kill the generator. Oh, it's already halfway done. No, you're out in the open. You crazy bastards. Yep. Yeah, I know. Is there anything I want to sell them? Not really. Not really. I want all your wood. All of it. Mm. I see. I see. You know? Well, I'm gonna keep it for now since my options are really limited. This is, that's definitely one I would consider selling them, just because I don't really see myself using it very much. I'd rather use the pistol. Right now, planks. And nails. How much are your nails? Yes. I'm going to skip on the upgrade for today, so that I can keep myself from dying tomorrow. That's my current goal. Gas stink. Release gas under high pressure. Ah, I guess that's what I was supposed to do. Maybe drag some of these out into uh, in here and keep them keep them as some kind of safety mechanism, like in here. Like it seems like it would be useful to push out something through there. All right, I like this place. This place seemed nice. I think all I really have to do, well, if I wanted to do anything, it would be just put something over these, uh, well, actually, hold on, maybe it makes more sense to do something like board this up, stick something over here, and then... Well, yeah, you'd have to stick something out here so that you could actually use this L for anything. But, you know, it's not totally impossible, and so far nothing's tried to open the door. 
Let's see what we've got in terms of, uh... I mean, I guess we have these things. Which we can drag somewhere. You know, can be more useful. So we can set fire to them. And then they will be dangerous to everyone. So maybe it's worth, um... I don't know, I basically just want to stick that in the corner there. Because I think, does it, it doesn't block vision, but it would at least be if something gets over there and maybe attracts attention. I will have something that I can do, which will probably just kill me. That's okay. I will accept that risk. That chair is probably just a liability, if we're honest. I don't really see myself using this space very much. I mean, it's got this thing in it, but, well, could I secure this room somehow? It's got a door. Well, yeah, in a sense, it should actually be, well, stuff can push against that. Is there a... Or is it not? I don't know, I could probably get something stuck in there. And then... We'd actually just barricade all these things. Make sure... Oh, well, but we can look at that. I don't know what that does. Uh, and then we can barricade this. That would be our only way in. Well, I guess there's this. We could barricade one of them. And for some reason I'm more comfortable barricading... That one. I'm not entirely sure why. <sighs> On the other hand, this is already probably secure. I mean, I don't know if there's going to be some other kind of thing that I have to worry about that might make it not secure. But as far as known quantities, like banshees and savages and human spiders, um, this is pretty good. I mean, I don't think the human spiders can get in through that, that gap, for example. But annoyingly, they might be able to. Okay, so they also react when you touch it. I wonder if you can... I don't know. Once we're a little bit more secure, I'll experiment with this thing. See what it does during the night, if anything. What I wanted to do with this, though, was I want to move. Actually, we could make this our only way in. I kind of want to move this. I don't know, does it make sense in the corner? That sounds like it would be a bad idea, but I don't know. I've been surprised before. Ooh, is that a... like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of having some kind of visibility over there. There is a lamp here, though. Which we don't want if we want to deal with shadows in any reasonable way. Uh, but I don't really know. I don't know. I'm mostly looking to hole up in these two rooms. I think we could actually relatively safely just barricade this doorway and just come in through here. The downside of that is that we definitely have, like if we do that, we have to know what that eyeball does at night, if anything. Because I am sure that does not look like it's, um, uh, you know, irrelevant. That has some kind of role to be played in all this. I just don't know what it is yet. Let's hope you can't destroy lamps. Poland, land of indestructible lamps. Alright, I don't have anything to cook, right? No. But I do have a lot of boards to use someday somewhere. For now, I'm not gonna block these off, though. Or that. I don't even see the point of 
there's no point in barricading doors that don't lead anywhere. They're just annoying. I almost wish that I could, like, salvage them? For wood? Uh. Let's see, I am interested in this thing. So, I don't know. And we've been down there and there's also nothing. Nothing up here. Is there any use in dragging this thing out? Well, there can't be, you know, disuse in it. Like, it's certainly useless over here, right? So, let's drag that over. I think I made the right choice in not, uh, not going to find, trying to replay chapter one. I mean, honestly, if I hadn't reverted it beforehand, I probably would just, I would at least be strongly considering just pushing back to alpha eight so that I could continue this, maybe even with all the bug fixes, but on the other hand, I don't really want my experience ruined by a bug that's already been fixed. So, I don't know. It's a tough call. But I think, overall, this is probably the right one. A smooth... It's not necessarily smooth. Smoother Chapter 2 experience in exchange for seeing particular consequences. And it's always worth keeping in mind that there will be... Get over there. There will be other alphas. Like, this is not the last time that we will be, um, we will be playing Chapter 2, almost certainly. Although, mm, well, I don't know. I was about to say, I'm a little bit inclined to not really, oh, you know what the best way to do this is? Do the same shenanigans we did before. Yeah. I was gonna move this up there somewhere, but I totally, I like this more. I like that a lot more. Cause it's the same kind of thing, we can just sort of, you know, sneak our way in. Nope, I'm trying to make it aligned. You know, we uh, go in, we grab it, we pull on it once or twice, and then we close. And we're pretty much as safe as can be. I like that a lot. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> we'll find, we'll play with the eye. I mean, it's not that hard to play with the eye, so we'll probably do that anyway. Because all we really have to do is, yeah. All we really have to do is like, squish this over a little bit. Uh, but then we're kind of exposed. I don't know. Look at it without endangering ourselves. Not sure. Probably not, actually. So probably what I what I'm willing to do is maybe at eight or so, you know, like right before it's too late and I have to run in here anyway, I'll stand here, peek at it, run around, and do my thing. Just to see if that what does it do? Right? That's my question. What does that do? Can it see me from over here? Oh. Because I really don't know. And I'm curious. It seems... My my instinct is that it should attract them. What does the well do? The well is dry at the moment. The water level rises at night. Okay, so it's like the old well. Does it do anything other than just generate health? Yeah. Like, this looks like it would attract them or something. I don't know if it would make them, like, my concern is maybe it makes them angrier and more menacing, which I'm not really in favor of. Don't want them to be menacing. But, okay. Well, uh, is this about what we got? Yeah. Yeah, that's about what we got. Well, there's no reason to carry around the gas. So at the very, very least, we should fill this up.
because we can. There's like, oh, there's rusty oxygen tanks. We'll keep it in here. There you go. Perfect. All right. So we don't have the crafting bench at night in this, or in this you know, setup, but eh, it's probably for the best. I would stash flares in here, and maybe the flashlight, and this would be the sort of the, you know, this is like the weapons place, weapons and stuff place. And then I'd stash, how big are you? Not very. No, not that. What, did I accidentally? I didn't mean to if I did. Yeah. I wanted to keep all these, con like this and the flares will go here, I think, for now, at least. And then we'll stick, you know, in this thing proper, we'll stick that stuff. And we're gonna try that, I guess, I don't know, Just start making rows of things and see how it goes. Uh, I feel tempted to carry the pistol, if only just so that, you know, if I run into ammo for it, that we'll have a good time. We'll have a good time running into ammo for it. I want that to be my experience with it, so, there we go. I mean, all things considered, it's not a bad start to Chapter 2, especially for, um, you know, players who've already experienced it, because you get... We're already Tier 3, we've got plenty of inventory space, though certainly not as much as we could. You know, things are fine. Let's go back to that wood. Oh! What? Ooh! No! What the- Ow! No! Ow. I don't even know what to do about you. You are really aggressive. Holy shit. Die. Oh my god. Well, Swamper. Why can't I click you? There we go. Come on. Is it... is it getting foggy? Okay, its position is just off. It's getting foggy. Wonderful. Just what I needed. Fog. We don't have any health items. At all. Zero. Are we gonna have a fever dream? I really hope we don't. That one... I think we chose that one. Maybe we should do that. Yep, Fever Dream. Maybe we should do the scare them away thing when we run to the next one of those fuckers. Like, that was... Oh my god. Oh good, it's the one that I don't... Okay, well... Let's see if we can't do this one better. It's hard to fight Black Chompers, though. Real hard. Hello, withering, squirmy blackness. Hey, you. I wasn't either. Come on, show me the shovel. There it is. It's hard to see. <sighs> I don't know that you can even actually kill it. No, they don't. I can. I think we always have the option of lying down, though. Alright. No. Ow, oh, come on. Ah, oh, I dodged in the wrong direction. Ah, well. Black 
jumpers, still hard. Also shovel, still hard to use. What? What just shifted? Was it you? Why? No. Come back. Stop. Stop being like that. Don't be like that. Be like that. That's good. Be like that. That's the best way to be. Did I get anything? No. So just a waste of time. And a wasted... yeah. Well, we reset our health though. So that's good. Uh. Alright, well. I guess that teaches us the dangers of the swamp a little bit. This is a really neat effect. I am... I am okay with this. I mean, I'm not okay with the fog, but... I like how it works. I really need to find supplies though. Is this a thing? No. Human spider. Ah, that's just terrifying. It throws body parts at you? Like, what the hell? Alright. What's this? All right, we can go straight to this thing. What is this? Did we loot that before? No, we didn't. That's just such an ominous sound. I like the idea of fighting a huge dog, though. I'm okay with that. a chomper. Oh, there it is. Okay, way down there is a chomper. There's a huge dog. Doesn't really know how to get to me, though. So that's unfortunate. Can't dismantle it. I have to tear it, with, tear it down. That looks like a black chomper. Yeah. I'm I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I don't feel equipped for that. <laughs> oh good, fire. We already went through here and there wasn't really anything of note. But I'm just double checking just in case I missed something. This just looks like a bad idea. Anything here? No? Really? There's just there's no items anywhere. No. I'm not dealing with that again. There it is. Everything is so dangerous. 
so very, very dangerous. And I have so little, little health. Hello, fire. At least that one sort of stays in its territory. I'm... well, I don't really okay with that. I need a key, which I don't have. This looks complicated. The door seems to be blocked from the other side. Yes, it does. things from The Last of Us. Well, at least the poison wears off quickly. Mushroom man corpse. Mushroom man. I don't know what to think of that. Seems like what I should have done is probably tried to pop him, but... Do I have fire? In any form? No. All I've got is a pitchfork. Oh, great. I know what that sound is. There's a little eye thing somewhere. Yeah. Can we look at it from here? Just this... Ah. Alright, well what this tells me is that the correct way is the other way. I can't do anything in this direction, basically. But I can... I need weapons. Maybe I shouldn't be going here just yet. I, I feel super underpowered. Like, I feel like I should not necessarily be too afraid of those. They should maybe be somewhere between a chomper and a, uh... A red chomper and a huge dog. Like, they should be that dangerous. But with this weapon, they are. Because A, I'm not used to weapon, and B, I just don't think this weapon's that great. I mean, not that the plank with nails is great either, but... Upgraded, it's pretty decent. This thing, however, can't be upgraded, so... Alright, let's see. We've still got time, so let's try exploring, I guess. Just... Mm. The fact there are black chompers around here, though, that worries me. I wonder if they're sensitive to light? Like, if I shine a light on them, are they uh, particularly unhappy? Because that would be great. don't really like the swamp. Swamp has been unfriendly to me before. Also, it hampers my movement, which I also don't particularly like. What's this? This looks like a little circle thing. Alright, so we're right under the hideout. It's good to know that even these monsters, the swamp dwelling ones, are placed. Like they have a location there around. I have a bad feeling about this. Do I have a lockpick? I don't think I have a lockpick. I don't know how to tell whether or not something is a mushroom man corpse or not. Is this a location of some kind? No. Oh great, good. 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 Come here, you. Yep. Oh good. 
yeah, alright. Fantastic. That's great. There can be mushrooms in the water. That's great. That's that's something. It's really something. I am almost out of weapon. And I don't really see any resources to find more. Oh, great. Oh, okay. Wonderful. That was about the worst that could happen, actually. I don't even know if I'll be able to survive this, will I? Oh, I did, so, yes. This pos all these guys' positions are really weird. What is that noise? I feel like this place wants me to have a flashlight at all times or something. Which is fine. I just need to keep it in mind. Alright, let's try our plan for the... this thing. See how it goes. Come on. 7.30 maybe? Like before... before we have no choice. Please. I'm just, I'm just, I have nothing to do. I have nothing better to do. Well, I, I have to, I can cook something. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna go cook. Because I have a bunch of stuff to cook. How much is this? Nine, wow. It's a lot of essence. Alright, it's about 7.30 can't drink. Okay, so I have to do this on my way out. Okay, that's fine. 45 maybe? And it's, it's open, so we'll see. Oh, okay, so it's open at 7.45. Alright. This is risky, because it's past night time now. Well... Cool! Where are you off? Does this consume? Does, it con does the amount of gas consumed proportional to the... Oh good! I don't... Should I be in the presence of this? I don't really know. This is the only one that's still working. Back where? Where? Okay. That's fine. What? What am I close to? Why do I want to get back to that? I... Just so many questions. So... Many questions. Holy shit, what is that? Poison on sight is apparently what that is. I gotta say, I'm I'm pretty sure they make the first night your first night in a new biome. Um, a little bit easier. Or is this because I opened the eye? I hope that didn't push away my only. Let's see, we can sort of find out where it is, more or less. Okay.
Yeah, maybe that's because I triggered the eye. I mean, because that light looks similar to the, the light down here. Just poisonous for some reason? Does it glow a little? It does. Just a little bit, though. Probably over there. Has to be, right? That sounds like a chomper. Oh, fuck. It is. Oh, come on. Night, buddy. Not tonight. No. What? Destroyed the wardrobe. I didn't know you could do that. Ah, <sighs> red chomper. Ugh. So is that wardrobe? Like, is that it? Really? more gas. I'm gonna try to not not make you angry during the night. Although now it's gonna be hard because we're down a wardrobe. Which ain't great. That ain't great. What do we do now? That's my question. What do we do now? This isn't a doorway, is it? No. Uh. Oh. Damn it. I don't think we have a safe place anymore. I mean, well, how did we, how did we get in here anyway? Did it trigger this thing? How does that work? Actually, wait. The three are here. Oh, they're always spawn, but I didn't get any reputation for surviving, right? Yeah. Which I needed. I need as much rep from them as I can get. Their inventory upgrade, please? Yes. Not that I've run out of inventory just yet, either, though. I think it's time to repair... Pitchfork? Can we upgrade the pitchfork? Wait, we can? I didn't know we could upgrade the pitchfork. That must be... Maybe it's level-based? Like, we can only upgrade it once it's at a certain level? But I remember them being... I don't know. When they were first introduced, you couldn't upgrade them, at least. I'm pretty confident about that. Either way... Uh, we can do all three if, if we dedicate ourselves to it. So, probably better than Plank with Nails, though. Or we could try the Sickle. The Sickle we can only repair, right? I guess the Sickle's about as much to repair, though, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, but I had a much better time with- what? Damn it! No, I just wasted. Well, I guess I can sell it to them, at least. We can recover some. Of what has been lost. Yes. What do we want from them, though? Lockpicks are almost not 
Well, these, this is almost not a bad idea. Well, they're really expensive, though. I don't think it's worth it. We could try making the axe, too, but that takes a lot of supplies. I don't know. Let's try taking a normal amount of stuff, seeing where it lands us. We do have a couple of throwy knives, though. We could try using them sometime. At least it was a red chomper. I have that minor consolation. So what do I need for this again? I need to find a stick somewhere. And the weird... the... the... weird head, which we probably have to buy. I don't think I've ever found that. And lots of tape. Lots and lots of tape. Anyway. I'm gonna go use my mushrooms now. I didn't know they could destroy wardrobes. I'm, I think I've seen that once before, but only once, so I just totally forgot it was even possible. It was totally incidental, too. They just... Uh, so sad. Holy crap. It's a lot of essence. Eating wood, still probably not useful, but I don't really have much choice, so... All right. Let's see here. I've got the sickle, and this thing is wide open. So at least if we repair this doorway, block it off, we can do that. That'll work. Yes. Actually, although if another one of those red eye things happens, we are screwed. So it either becomes very important for that not to happen, which I think it's 50-50 that it's even related to this thing at all. It's such a similar thing though, except this one does not poison me for some reason. Downside is though that if we want to turn on the generator and get it, we kind of, well I guess we have this route. Go around, click it, and then come back. Arg! I don't know. In general, it's kind of folly to restrict yourself to only one room. But there's not really a way to do anything else anymore. Like, we can't make wardrobes, sadly. But we'd need some way to block this off. Even if we wanted to use this room. But at the very least, I guess we could do... Nope, we're still inside of it. And that was our only blocking wardrobe. Which is why we might want to spend our time... Just in here. Hiding. Forever. That involves, we'd have to barricade these two doorways. Uh, probably the longest possible path, because we'd have to grab that and then circle all the way around to here. And barricade this, probably barricade that. There's nothing we can do about that. That's also dangerous. Assuming we're right about the eye. Uh, which means that we'd want to block that somehow. And that. <sighs> I really hope we're not screwed. That would make me saddest of all. I wonder if these are sometimes real wardrobes. Or if it depends on your choices or something. How many wardrobes you get. Alternatively, we can kind of give up on the knights, suicide ourselves, and just rely on normal mushrooms that we find. I do want to make sure that I have a solution for this, though, before I start the next day. This seems like the most plausible thing, but at the same time seems also like one of the most difficult things. 
There is almost nothing we can do. Like, we'd have to wall ourselves into this room. There's not really any other option. Well, I mean, I guess I'll try that. I don't really see any way around it. I don't see a better option. All the other options trigger the eye, which, you know, I guess we can try hiding out in here and then if it turns out that it doesn't, well, it's not even that it doesn't matter, it's that that's just a straight up opening to the outside. The chompers are gonna wanna get at it too, which isn't great. So we'll probably have to barricade it. And I, I still don't know if it's like, do we look at the light and get poisoned, or is it just being near it? Build. Wait, what? Build. I, wait. Oh, we can repair the wardrobes. Excellent! Then I'm gonna do that. All this worry and effort because I'm an idiot. I don't know that that's enough. That might be enough. I don't know. Come back. Yeah. Alright. I'll have to sell them something if I want more. You just actually have to, uh... Hit the plus option. Oh, okay, I don't need that many nails. Um... It, it appears to exist. Kind of. I can only tell its existence indirectly, though. From, from the shadows it casts. Alright, so maybe there is hope yet. What I really want to do is I want to like lodge this in here in some way that you can't push from that side. Basically, that's the goal. The goal is that you should be able to that you shouldn't be able to uh, like do what that chomper did and push your way inside that's so weird this is this is a pretty impressive glitch out yeah I think to do that though I'd have to do something like this Good? Is that gonna work? I mean, choppers have like more push than I ever have, but this looks plausible. Let's go look at it. Let's also shove you a little bit. I really need health items though. Alright. And, yeah, I mean, I think that's lodged, lo about as lodged as it gets, basically. So, sure, I'll take this. I will take this. This is fine. Dusty radio that talks to us about returning to us. Um, let's repair that one as well. Why not? It's here, right? I, it's the, uh, it's invisible because it's the not vision blocking kind. Best kind of wardrobe. I don't know, I just feel like there is a good place for that one. It is down here. Is 
Is it possible to take... Because I'm still thinking of the bike man. Does he appear in this chapter? Like, is there any way you can actually get your stuff from him? Like, get your stuff from Hideout 3. It seems like you should be able to. Just in principle, because you spent a long time, but maybe you have to remember to, you know, bring the bell with you. Otherwise, you abandon it all. It's a little cruel, but... A little cruel. Pretty soon. That actually describes this entire game. Can I build this? No. I don't have enough wood. I'm out of rep. But building this... I don't know, it makes me curious enough to build it to see if I can't... Hmm. I guess I'd still not really want... because want to rebuild it because of this whole thing. Where I can spot it through there and make it upset. I'd want to box myself in here, which isn't that great from a lot of perspectives. Although I like how this backpack stays here. Use it repeatedly. That's so gross. Alright, well, I'm pretty happy that we found, we found, I found out that you can in fact rebuild broken broken wardrobes so that's that's great that's fantastic actually but uh yeah I think we should do this as well because that's not gonna last the night I have three knives no that's not what I want to do see it's getting late I know because I'm screwing up stupid things do I fill it up half we want, just in case we find more, A, and because we might need some for that. Let's see what else we got here. Got this. Probably about as good as it gets. Uh, I do want to lay this bear trap down somewhere. Not really sure where. Just seems like, you know, this is a good spot, maybe. The idea here is that if something got out here to try and start doing things, we would make it... Uh, I can't see it. Alright, I have to remember my <laughs> remind myself to go around the long way. Because, uh, well, for a number of reasons, but I don't want to step on that. Got all these knives, which may or may not be useful. Still not sure myself. Uh, you know what? I'll sell you the bottle. If you'll give me... Do I want more wood? Do I really want to fix that? No, I don't want to fix it that badly. Ah, oh, just out of reach. Okay, that's fine. I think we're, this is about as good as it gets for now. Alright. I don't know how we would use that if like we maybe throwing knife is a good match for you I don't know I also feel like I underutilized that explosive barrel could have used it just then if I positioned it correctly which I hadn't so I'll also go do that actually because this seems pretty easy to pull off where we uh, we can drag this guy so that if just drag it. If we need to uh, blow it up in something's face, because it got in through the largest opening there, we can. Come on. Let's go. Slowly through the gap. There we go. This seems like it would probably be one of the better places so that, like, I get it to chase me in here, and then I just sort of hang out, right, run around, do this, seems pretty good. Alright. <sighs> Chapter 2 is hard. I don't know what to think of it. I feel a little bit cheated because I think I would be doing a lot better if I had my gear from the end of Chapter 1, but we'll, we'll make do with it. 
I guess this is kind of a genuine experience if you were like, I just want to see chapter 2 and fire it up. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.